Welcome to Spaceverse, your portal to cosmic adventures. The James Webb Space Telescope is now uncovering objects from the Dark Ages that, according to our best measurements, are large, fully formed galaxies. With this breakthrough, we can begin exploring further, as the telescope has reached the edge of the universe. Astronomers using the James Webb Space Telescope have made an unexpected discovery in the early universe. They've identified six extremely large galaxies dating back to 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang, which formed the universe. A new study published in Nature reveals that this finding is dramatically altering our understanding of galaxy formation during what was previously thought to be the universe's early stages. These galaxies are significantly larger than anticipated. Scientists were surprised to find such mature galaxies at this early stage, as they had expected only to discover small, nascent galaxies. The telescope observes the universe in infrared light, a wavelength invisible to the human eye. The telescope can detect the faint light emitted by ancient galaxies and stars by peering into very distant space. It is capable of looking back about 13.5 billion years, which is close to the estimated age of the universe, around 13.7 billion years. This ability is truly remarkable. The discovery of such massive galaxy formations early in the universe's history has upended previously established scientific beliefs. The term universe breakers has been coined for these findings, and they have certainly lived up to the name. Scientists now need to reconsider their models of galaxy formation and evolution, as these large galaxies do not align with 99% of the current theories about how galaxies formed in the early universe. Traditionally, it was believed that galaxies began as small clouds of stars and dust that gradually grew. When scientists examined the very early universe for the first time, they were unprepared for the unexpected results. The discovery of these massive galaxies complicates current scientific understanding and challenges the prevailing theories of early galaxy formation. Researchers began analyzing Webb's data and the first high-resolution images released in July 2022. They were astonished by the findings. The size and brightness of the galaxies were so surprising that the team initially thought there might have been an error in the data. However, upon further investigation, it became clear that these enormous galaxies appeared almost as if they were eager to be discovered. To truly understand why, how, and when galaxies form, one of the most crucial techniques is to capture their spectra. This involves the process of splitting the light coming from these galaxies into its constituent colors, which allows scientists to identify various elements present within them and estimate their distances from Earth. By analyzing this light, known as spectroscopy, astronomers can gain deep insights into the chemical composition, age, and movement of these massive cosmic structures. Not only does this reveal the galaxy's authenticity, but it also provides essential information about their size and precise location in the universe. Spectroscopy serves as a powerful tool to unlock the mysteries of galaxy formation, evolution, and their role in the broader cosmic landscape. What makes this discovery even more fascinating is that it wasn't the primary objective of the James Webb Space Telescope. The early observations, which led to identifying these potential galaxies, were somewhat unexpected. Initially, scientists didn't realize what they had stumbled upon, and the findings came far sooner than they had anticipated. This accelerated pace of discovery demonstrates just how transformative Webb's capabilities are in revealing the distant universe. However, it is crucial to acknowledge that these findings may not be as straightforward as they seem. The galaxies identified by Webb may not be typical galaxies at all. Given that we are peering farther back in time than ever before, there is a possibility that these objects could be something else entirely, such as hidden supermassive black holes or some unknown phenomenon. Since this is humanity's first glimpse into such an early epoch of the universe, caution is necessary in interpreting the data. These objects might indeed turn out to be galaxies, but it's equally important to remain open to alternate explanations as we continue to refine our understanding of what Webb has uncovered. The data, while groundbreaking, may hold surprises that challenge our current models of the universe's infancy. Here's something incredible. The mass of stars is up to 100 times greater than previously thought. Even if we were to have this number, it remains an astonishing discovery. 
A team of astronomers from around the world has utilized data from the Webb Space Telescope to identify the oldest and most distant galaxies ever confirmed. The telescope detected light from these galaxies dating back over 13.4 billion years, indicating they formed less than 400 million years after the Big Bang, when the universe was only 2% of its current age. Initial observations from JWST revealed several potential galaxies, similar to the images captured by the Hubble Space Telescope. Now, extended spectroscopic observations have confirmed four of these objects. These observations not only allow scientists to examine the physical properties of the galaxies, but also provide accurate distance estimates. Astronomers determine a galaxy's distance by measuring its redshift. You might be wondering what this is all about. The Doppler effect causes light from distant objects to stretch and shift towards the red end of the spectrum, giving the impression that the universe is expanding away from us. While redshift estimates can be made using photometric methods with images taken through various filters, accurate measurements require spectroscopy, which breaks down an object's light into its component wavelengths. Recent discoveries include four galaxies with redshifts greater than 10. Specifically, the redshifts of two galaxies initially observed by Hubble have been confirmed as 10.38 and 11.58. Two additional galaxies identified in JWST images have redshifts of 13.20 and 12.63, indicating they are extremely distant. A redshift of 13.2 suggests that these events occurred approximately 13.5 billion years ago. The results were achieved using two of Webb's instruments, the near-infrared camera and the near-infrared spectrograph. Additionally, the JWST Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey is a major project that utilized a bit more than a month of the telescope's observing time. Its aim is to provide an unprecedented view into the early universe with remarkable depth and detail. The project, which began with collaboration among scientists in 2015, involved over 80 experts from 10 countries. The Jade study, initiated with the NIRCOM, spent over 10 days observing a tiny patch of the sky within the Hubble Ultra Deep Field. Astronomers have been investigating this region for more than 20 years using nearly all major telescopes. The Jade's team examined this area in nine different infrared color bands and identified nearly 100,000 extremely distant galaxies, each billions of light years away. Following this, the near spectrograph was employed to capture light from 250 faint galaxies over three days, revealing details about their gas and stars, and providing precise redshift values. These measurements allow scientists to determine the galaxy's intrinsic brightness and star count. We can now thoroughly investigate how galaxies have evolved over time, without needing to know their initial formation processes. Much like understanding human behavior, comprehending galaxy dynamics can be complex. The influence of early star generations significantly impacts subsequent events. This is an incredibly exciting era. The groundbreaking capabilities of the Webb Telescope are addressing numerous questions about galaxies. For instance, some of the first stars likely formed around 225 million years after the Big Bang, as star formation in these early galaxies began about 100 million years before their detection. NASA's Deep Space Research Telescope is providing a fresh perspective on the universe, uncovering remarkable new details about galaxies, planets, stars, and other fascinating cosmic phenomena. The James Webb Space Telescope is at the forefront of scientific exploration. The telescope was launched in December 2021 and is designed to operate for 20 years. It has only just begun its journey through space. Marketed as the successor to the Hubble Space Telescope, Webb is generating unprecedented excitement in the scientific community. People from around the globe are sharing raw data images and gaining new insights from them. You might recall that in February 2023, Google, the world's largest search engine, used a web-related question to test its new BARD AI bot. Unfortunately, BARD missed the fact that Webb was not the first telescope to capture a direct image of an exoplanet, but it has made numerous other remarkable discoveries. For instance, NASA scientists and engineers dedicated years to developing Webb before its launch on Christmas Day in 2021. The subsequent months saw the successful deployment of the telescope, and by mid-July it released its breathtaking initial images courtesy of its infrared camera. These images provided us with unprecedented detail of the universe, including its most distant galaxies, offering a glimpse into the past. 
As soon as the telescope became operational in late June 2022, scientists began discovering thousands of new galaxies that were older and more distant than any previously known. Some of these galaxies might have been identified over 150 million years earlier than the largest ones detected by Hubble. Additionally, the camera can capture enough light from space objects, such as exoplanets and newly formed stars, to analyze their composition and movement. This data is already revealing intricate details about the atmospheres of planets hundreds of light years away from Earth, helping to determine their potential to support life. The James Webb Space Telescope has identified what might be the oldest black hole in the universe, located at the center of a young galaxy just 570 million years after the Big Bang. This supermassive black hole, 10 million times the mass of the Sun, was detected thanks to Webb's advanced cameras, which can peer back to the cosmic dawn, starting about 100 million years post-Big Bang. Scientists are still puzzling over how such massive black holes formed so early. Telescopes detect these black holes because the material falling into them heats up from friction, creating bright emissions known as active galactic nuclei. Quasars, the most intense AGN, are billions of times heavier than the Sun and emit light billions of times brighter than the brightest stars. As Webb observes deeper into the universe, it captures light from these distant objects, revealing earlier epochs of cosmic history. Using the JWST's mid-infrared instrument and near-infrared camera, astronomers searched for black holes by analyzing light spectra and detecting weak radiation from hot matter around a black hole. This early radiation indicated the presence of a supermassive black hole, though the rapid formation of such black holes in the early universe remains a mystery. The search continues for even younger primordial black holes from just after the Big Bang. The abundance of black holes might be due to either remnants of rapidly formed massive stars or dense gas clouds collapsing into black holes. Scientists speculate that the first population three stars, composed mainly of hydrogen and helium, exploded and formed black holes which then grew rapidly. Researchers are now collaborating with the MIRI team to find even stronger light sources from distant galaxies that could provide more clues about the formation of early black holes. Additionally, they've identified the farthest galaxy cluster ever observed, composed of seven interacting galaxies. This protocluster, predicted to grow into one of the universe's oldest and largest clusters, has a mass nearly 100 times that of the Milky Way. The Hubble Space Telescope first spotted the seven galaxies, but it couldn't measure the exact distances between them despite viewing them from the same angle. It's like looking from above Los Angeles and seeing cities like Phoenix, Dallas, and Atlanta without knowing their distances. The James Webb Space Telescope, however, provided much clearer observations. Experts believe that finding such rare galaxy groups is challenging, and it's unlikely JWST will uncover another system like this due to its limited field of view. In the coming decade, the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, set to launch in early 2027, will help by offering over 100 times the field of view of JWST, making it easier to find similar early universe galaxy clusters. Turning back to JWST's discoveries, this telescope revolutionized the search for exoplanets in the 1990s, and now over 3,000 exoplanets are known, though only a few have been directly observed. Webb's capabilities allowed it to identify the planet HIP 65826b in 2017 using its cameras, filters, and coronagraphs to block out the central star's light and capture the exoplanet. The planet, distant and highly visible through telescopes, is unique due to its extreme distance from its star, 100 times farther than any planet in our solar system. To put this in perspective, Pluto is only 40 times farther from the Sun than Earth. This gas giant is about 12 times the size of Jupiter. Although the ghost galaxy is hard to spot, its brightness is apparent in images captured by Webb's infrared camera. Hubble's visible light images of M74, also known as the Ghost Galaxy, reveal its stunning spiral structure with arms radiating from a bright core. Webb's infrared images show intricate structures resembling threads of dust and gas emitting heat from a central bright blue region, highlighting areas where new stars are forming. Researchers combined images from Webb, Hubble, and ground-based telescopes to create a composite picture showing the galaxy in both visible and infrared light. This international project has involved capturing 19 nearby star-forming galaxies in infrared and comparing the images side by side. Webb's observations at longer wavelengths have enabled scientists to identify star-forming regions, 
more accurately determine star cluster masses and ages, and study tiny interstellar dust particles. Webb also captured a unique image of a wolf rayet star, showing an unusual diffraction pattern with concentric rings, which are real features caused by the interaction between the star and its companion. The James Webb Space Telescope has also made significant discoveries about exoplanets. One notable find is WASP-39b, a planet 700 light-years away in the constellation Virgo. This hot gas giant, similar in size to Saturn, orbits its star much closer than Mercury orbits the Sun. Webb's mission to explore the universe's edges has proven incredibly successful, revealing details beyond our expectations. What are your thoughts on these discoveries? Let us know below. And that's it. Thanks for joining us on Spaceverse. From Webb's ancient galaxies to distant exoplanets like WASP-39b, we've seen amazing discoveries. Hit like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more cosmic updates. See you next time.